Hi guys, it's Nash, and for today's video, we'll be playing The Secret of Cat Island, and we'll continue from where we've left off. But first, let's do a recap. Last time, there were lots of buildings and machines that we fixed, including the loom and the sawmill, which, as we mentioned before, are used to make threads and the latter of crafting woods. We also learned how to plant different seeds, such as peas and corn, and then harvest them later on as food for the two cats. Moving on, we'll continue with the game. So there's a ruined machine over here which happens to be our arcade. We had it fixed by using the materials required and then we tapped the upgrade button. After fixing the arcade, I looked around the area to see what else could be fixed and restored. There's a fence gate on the west side of the island over the bridge. The gate leads to another open area which is near the seashore. We can also collect those rocks and woods laying on different parts of the island to check if it's possible to get them. Tap on it and if the thing lights up a bit, like transparent, then it's possible to collect it. Once collected, it will then be stored in your bag which you can access by tapping this icon. Upon going closer to the shore, a ship was seen approaching the island. The ship's helm is called Fufu, which is also a cat. Fufu asked us to do a favor for him, and in return, he would give us a reward. But before that, I checked first the nearby fence gate and tried to fix it. But upon checking, I didn't have the materials needed, so I went over to the sawmill and crafted some woods. After crafting, I went back to the fence gate and fixed it. This part revealed another building which as indicated here is called the Mason's Workshop. I upgraded it twice but I think it still needs to be upgraded one more time to be fully restored. I didn't have one of the required materials to continue upgrading it, so I decided to make them using the machines we restored. I went to the loom and had some threads produced. Once it was done, I again tapped the Mason's Workshop building and I was able to upgrade it. After completing the task, Fufu then asked another favor. He wanted Nana and Muna to check around if Cross Eyes left something for him. Heading back to the tent, there's a tall wood blocking the way leading somewhere. I topped the wood and smashed it to see what's on the other side. There were three chest boxes and we opened one of them. But instead of the treasure, Nan and Muna were expecting the chest box only contained usual supplies. There are many more chest boxes to open but we need keys to do so. Fufu offered to bring him supplies that he could deliver to his customers and in exchange, he'll give keys to open the other chest boxes. And we'll stop right here for now. We'll continue the game next time and we'll see if there really is a treasure in this island. The number of tasks is increasing. If we play a bit more, I think we'll find out soon the answer to the question. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye!